one of the last pieces of legislation that you supported was the National Defense Authorization um, It has since come to light that um, this bill, um, one of the provisions in this bill, legalizes indefinite detention, um, military arrest, and imprisonment without uh, judiciary process. And I was wondering if you had a, a chance to look at that provision and what your opinions were on that specific part of the bill. Well, of course, this applies to non-citizens. This applies to people who um, are in Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations who are seeking to destroy America. And this is very tough stuff. We're in a very tough world. And, of course, the Defense Authorization Bill, as you know, uh, contains many other provisions that are critically important to our national defense, including the funding for our troops, including uh, assistance, health care assistance to our nation's veterans. Uh, so it is a must-pass piece of legislation. And I think all of us know when you pass something of that magnitude and that importance, there are going to be things that ultimately have to be tweaked, have to be improved, have to be changed. That's really the genius of the democratic process. But I say to you, with respect to uh, being able to detain uh, non-U.S. citizens who have been engaged in terrorist acts against the United States, you know, we're in a situation in which the enemy doesn't wear the uniform of a foreign country. Uh, it is very hard to engage in a battle against terrorism as we are. And it requires the ability to take these combatants off the battlefield, these terrorists, who really seek to destroy the earth. And uh, last, last question that I have for you here is, what, what would you say to groups like the ACLU, the Libertarian Party, and the Green Party that, that, that are saying that the bill does not only justify indefinite detention of Al-Qaeda members, but also United States citizens. What do you say to those groups? No, I don't believe that that is the case. Um, I don't believe that U.S. citizens, uh, unless they are part of a terrorist network, unless they are part of Al-Qaeda, or the Haqqani network, or any other terrorist networks, uh, you know, we just have an incident in which a U.S. citizen who had renounced his citizenship uh, was killed. Uh, but that's an individual who is engaged without question in attempts to destroy the United States. Uh, and he was, he was killed by our own forces under these provisions. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, there are people, uh, even U.S. citizens, who have turned against us and who are seeking to destroy and kill Americans. Uh, we simply can't allow that to happen. Only one more brief thing. Um, in a I believe that was a drone strike on Mr. Alakwi. In a separate drone strike, uh, his 16 year old son, Bill Ramon Alakwi, was also killed. Um, do you have any information on that that you could expand on? And do you think that uh, the Obama administration has had good justification of a second year strike? Because uh, Bill Ramon Alakwi was a citizen of Colorado. Yeah. Look, uh, there is absolutely no question that these people were engaged in attempts to kill Americans, uh, to attack the United States. They made no bones about it. And, uh, they paid the price. Thank you, Thank you.